Hello, my name is Tim from improveyourarchery.com and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a cheap bow that you can buy online. So when you haven't assembled your bow yet, it will look uh, somewhat like this. Now you have to make sure that you have everything in the correct position, uh, that you have all your parts ready. So I'm going to lay out the parts right now and then we will start uh, assembling the bow. So I wanted to give a few pointers on assembling the compound bow. So what you need to make sure is that you have the limb bolts on, on the correct position. So normally there is like a washer that is used as the cap of the limb bolt. And also there is a rubber ring which you use to uh, protect the limb from, um, from the metal. Uh, to make sure that everything stays in uh, in place. Also, it's very important that you make sure that you have the cables and the string in the correct position. And it's very easy to distinguish between the string and the cable because the string has in the middle, yeah, you can see mine has a D-loop. Uh, but if you will look very closely, you can see that there here is some serving wire and that's only on uh, the string. Uh, because uh, there you attach the arrow, but that's not on the cable. So the cable is uh, completely bare until you reach the end of the, the cable. There is some protective uh, serving. And also make sure that the uh, string is in the groove of the uh, cam. And do that on both sides. Uh, and now I will tighten the limb bolts a bit. Uh, and that's just to make sure that everything stays in place a bit better. Uh, so I'm just tightening it by hand uh, and we don't need to tighten it too much because if we do that uh, we won't be able to tighten the other one. So uh, now they are tightened a bit. We need to recheck if everything is in the correct position. So we can see here the string is not in the correct position so we need to um, change that. And you can see there is already uh, almost a bit of tension on there. and. Um, so from here we will be able to tighten the limb bolts more until we have a working compound bow. Yeah, so just some comments uh, regarding the draw weight adjustment. So uh, I've been using this device. And uh, so if you don't have uh, something to measure your draw weight, because we need to measure the peak draw weight. And it's very difficult to measure with like some other uh, luggage scale or something like that. Um, so I really recommend to purchase one of these devices because uh, I've been using this for a long time. And for compound archer you really need to measure your peak draw weight for your arrows and uh, it's very useful. So um, if you don't have one of those yet, uh, I highly recommend uh, purchasing one. They are quite cheap and I will link the one that I have uh, in the description below so that you don't have to go looking for it. But uh, yeah, what you just do with the device is you put it on the string and you pull the bow back. And then the device will tell you right now I'm at 44 uh, LBS. So uh, yeah, this bow is exactly uh, how I want it and we can continue to assemble the other parts of the bow. So now we still have to attach the dampener and the cable guide. So I will do that right now. So on this particular model, uh, there is actually a small screw that you can see right here. Um, and that um, makes sure that the, uh, the uh, string stopper stays in, in place. So we push it in and sometimes you have to uh, adjust this rubber ring a bit to make sure that uh, it fits in uh, nicely. Uh, there should be a little bit of a gap between the string stopper and uh, the, the string itself uh, because otherwise it will actually uh, damage your string stopper a lot. So make sure that there is a little gap there. And then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to tighten this screw. And then once that's tightened, you can see uh, the string stopper is in place nicely and we can go to the cable guide. Um, and yeah, you will see that on my uh, particular example, there is um, of course uh, an arrow rest attached to it because I'm actually using this bow uh, and I didn't want to remove it because uh, I would have to completely retune the bow uh, if I would remove it. So I didn't do that um, and I'm just going to look, it should be like this. And then we can attach the cable guide, make sure that this part is also on there. 
And then on the other side, there is another screw and we need to tighten that as well. So the bow is now back together and uh, of course on your example you will still have to uh, adjust the air rest, you will have to tune the side, you have to tune the tiller height. So there is a lot more to do but I won't show that in this video. If you want to have a full guide on how to set up a compound bow, please look in the description there. I have a full guide explaining uh, with pictures how you have to set up everything. Uh, from start to finish the, uh, regardless of the type of bow you have so I really recommend uh, to take the next steps go to the description and read that article uh, I think it will be very helpful for your next steps uh, in archery